the guy asked me to make a little video so we're gonna load these two bikes into this truck and hope we don't drop any famous motor vlogger right here he's gonna help me and uh can't show his face obviously <laughs> could be jake the garden snake oh wait he shows his face I just let it stall out because then it's basically the bike's trying to push itself into the wall basically and when it cuts off it stays now it's in first gear up against the wall so like the only movement it'll make coming backwards is if you're you know pulling on the suspension but you can see the front wheel is not moving at all so basically it's forcing itself into the wall pretty simple so then I'm gonna kick this back side over. I kinda like once I get up here, I just angle it into there. You know what I'm saying? Into the corner. Cause I want the bikes as far apart as possible. So once I get it up here, then I'm just gonna kick this side over. And then I'll have, while I'm holding it up straight, I'll have you hook one of those straps on <coughs> On that green down there. You wanna hop up here and just, or you can yeah, you can film it from there. Yeah, there so you wanna get it tight and lock it in or yeah, just just tight enough to where it's gonna hold it. So go ahead and yeah, whenever you get get that thing start ratcheting. How's how's this thing work here? Yeah, just a little really we should be using the kind that um, the Canyon cam dancers? ones, oh. but these are a lot stronger and they're newer, so I'm going to use these. Yeah, that's good right there, just enough to hold it up upright so it's not going to fall. So now it's basically holding itself, and it can fall this way. So I'm just going to keep the weight on it this way. That way, the um, this thing's holding it that way. Troubleshooting. Good thing it's like 90 degrees out here. Yeah, it's not bad. It's only 107. <laughs> Alright, so this one's a cam buckle. Without the ratchet, this is what you're really supposed to use. So, I guess we'll do it the right way so all the internet experts don't yell at me. Alright, so that's the cam buckle. I'm going to do that and then try to, if you can push the bike my way so it rests more on that side. So like, let me see. Let me loosen it up a little bit. Can will it go this way? Mm -hmm. uh, then I get it to where it's almost upright, but it's most of the weight's leaning this way. So that if it falls, it falls onto the side. No, it shouldn't fall at all. But this but way, I can undo to? this one while I pull my bike up here, yeah. and then once I do that. Then I can do these metal ones last. So I'll basically have the bikes leaning into each other with the weight pulling from the outside, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So they're leaning this way, and the, these have tension on them. The metal doesn't. 
because I'm gonna have to run cam buckles through the rims oh, and all right. that stuff. So this way I can unhook this one. And this one, this one, will be for the insides since it's longer. And those are ratchets. We'll keep most of the tension on these. Mm -hmm. And then um let's go ahead and pull my bike up here now. Yeah, it's leaning towards me, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This way if it if it did fall, it would fall this way, but that shouldn't happen anyway. And that's like worst case scenario. <laughs> worst case scenario. So you want to tell them why you do that? This right here? The strap on I the basically board. do this because I've seen people pull their bikes up and get stuck right here without this being strapped to here where this can move around and then at the very top they get stuck with their wheels like right here so they give it a little bit of gas and it kicks this thing out and then their bike goes boom do you remember doing that at cycle springs when yeah when i did it at cycle flat? springs i didn't have a strap but i had it up here so i knew if i kicked it out it would just it would come up here and but I've seen people have it like down here and do that, oh, like wow. give it a shitload of gas to try to get it up to the top. Yeah. Because it's stuck. The bike's like wanting to go uphill. So. Or the bike's wanting to go downhill. But you want to go uphill. Alright, so this one's a little easier. This one I can just pull straight in. Because like that one, you got to be walking on the out on the inside where the bike needs to go. Where this one I can have to just have, I can walk right up the middle. And then have my bike just. Straight in. I'm just gonna strap it right there. No, I'm not. I'm still down here. I should be alright. Doesn't need much. Just enough to where it can't come out of place. So, alright, I'll move my walking board up, up and over. Alright, so now, well, well this piece of shit, just kidding. So this one is the same thing, you snug it up a little bit so the bikes are kind of leaning into each other. And then you're basically going to cross from the inside forks. Basically just cross these through, through the rims of each other or whatnot. Pretty simple honestly, it's just like loading one bike, it's just you're loading two bikes and you have to make room. But you can see this is a regular cab and it's, or what is this, a six foot it's, bed? Yeah. Yeah. So, and you still have tons of room. You could put a cooler in there or whatever. Which so. we've done. The only thing is you're not going to be able to pick the tailgate up. 
Yeah, you're not going to be able to put the tailgate up unless you get like an 8 foot bed or whatnot. But it doesn't matter. All the weight's like right here on the back tire anyway. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter. You don't have to worry about these giving out. So that's pretty much it. I'll just strap the rest of it down. much it um, basically you just want to when you're all done and you got your ties I also tie it from the back from each passenger peg back here it kind of helps give it more secure so basically when I go to these bikes when I load them before I take off I want to give them one more nice torque down so you want to compress the suspension and give them a little snug Keep them as tight as you possibly can without over compressing the suspension because you can actually mess that up especially in the front so basically want it to where there's a tiny little bit of play on each bike but not much at all you don't want these things shifting while you're driving down the road so that's pretty much it thanks for watching uh, if you have any questions just comment below and I'll get back to you next year Thanks, see ya.